you have a great deal of responsibility. London, along with New York, are the major financial centers of the world. Is it not an anxious time to be in charge of regulatory policy when you might say the underpinnings of the theory in the diagnostic manual have been rendered somewhat invalid? Well, it's, you're absolutely right that I feel we are in a period now where we are trying to do what we pragmatically have to do to create new regulatory <coughs> Uh, systems to make a more stable financial system for the future um, but we we don't have a clear underlying uh, a f theory of why a lot of things work the way they do now the good news is we no longer have uh, a delusion that we know things when we don't know things I think we we now know that we can't simply say uh, you know let's just leave it to the free market and everything will be fine. We can't simply say whatever the financial services do in financial innovation must be good because mm -hmm. if it wasn't good, it would have been winnowed out by free competition, which broadly speaking was the Greenspan doctrine that somehow or other you didn't need to understand what all these CDOs and CDO squares and CPDOs were up to. They must be distributing risk in some efficient fashion because otherwise the free market wouldn't have created them. Now, we know that that was wrong, and I think, but the, the, the thing is, we don't know what is right. And we've got to return in lots of ways to a real, real world economics, which actually describes real institutions and real human behaviors uh, rather than getting away with a set of uh, mathematically tractable um, but uh, overly uh, simplistic assumptions about the way the world is.